Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about how imbalance of thyroid gland can impact your periods if you have irregular periods for some reasons. Maybe the reason behind irregularity of your periods is imbalance of thyroid gland. And let's see what Ayurveda has to say about it and what are the diets that are mentioned in Ayurveda that will be helpful to bring your thyroid gland into balance. Whenever we talk about periods, like many women and many girls are facing this problem of irregular periods. Sometimes periods happen, sometimes periods not happen. And sometimes even this happens like periods are not coming even for two months, three months. If this is also the problem with you, then I would recommend please check your thyroid status. That is, uh, as you know, we have a gland called thyroid gland here, you know. Here it's a butterfly shaped gland is there that is called thyroid gland and sometime there is a uh, hypofunction or hyperfunction of this thyroid gland it happens and sometimes thyroid gland becomes super active and sometime it becomes uh, its action will become very slow whenever I whenever people talk to me about thyroid gland they're very confused like whether it is hypothyroidism or hypo hyperthyroidism you also need to see whether the action of thyroid gland has been increased or the action of thyroid gland has been decreased. It's very important because accordingly the symptoms will come. If the secretions of thyroid gland will become less, that means uh, the, the amount of uh, hormones that are secreted by a thyroid gland that is that is T3, T4 and calcitonin, these three hormones are secreted by a thyroid gland the presence of these hormones become less that means hypofunctioning of thyroid gland and when the secretion of these three hormones will become more in your body that means it is hyperfunctioning of thyroid gland uh, but usually you must have heard one more terminology that is called TSH TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone this is not secreted by thyroid gland this hormone is secreted by your pituitary gland so uh, pituitary gland produces this hormone that is called thyroid stimulating hormone which stimulate your thyroid gland and ultimately uh, these three hormones that is t3 t4 and calcitonin are being produced by thyroid if the function of thyroid gland in the body will become hyper then thyroid the value for TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone will become less because body will send signals like we don't need much thyroid hormone actually our physiology of our body is such magical like every everything is so connected and so organized and if if you see our biology how it functions how it's so connected with all our actions uh, you will be amazed it's uh, like we feel amazed like how it is connected everything why I am telling these things to you so that people can have some idea like there are two types of uh, thyroid dysfunction that is hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism that is the less secretions of thyroid hormones it is more common especially uh, in women it is more common and that's why many times you must have seen like women started gaining weight for no reasons many times this happen like periods are irregular sometimes no periods are coming you feel unnecessarily fatigue like very tired throughout the day you are very tired even for journal work which people do very easily you feel very tired even household work you are feeling very tired and suddenly you will start seeing like uh, gain, weight gain is happening though your diet is very normal you are eating very balanced diet but still weight gain is happening in addition to that you will see suddenly the hair loss started excessive hair loss is happening so all these things are also happening in hypothyroidism so this was about hypothyroidism if you have irregular periods sudden weight gain disturbance in metabolism that means uh, uh, you feel like you eat less but your weight is suddenly going up and up then maybe 
then it may be because of imbalance of thyroid gland. As you know, there is in allopathy, if you go, there is no explanation like why this is happening. People say it's just like autoimmune. Till now, there is no explanation why this function of thyroid gland is happening like this. If a lot of difference is there, you can check with your doctor. So, this your doctor endocrine specialist will decide like what is needed or thyroid specialist will decide what is needed for you. But there is another aspect that is Ayurveda aspect and in Ayurveda we treat all the lifestyle diseases like autoimmune diseases which is which are also we consider it as lifestyle diseases with certain way of living that is we need to change our lifestyle, we need to change little bit our diet and maybe we will be able to get good results. Anyway, if you are taking allopathic medicines, lifestyle to any way you can change uh, because uh, change in lifestyle is not going to impact the dose of medicine or anything. It may be possible like your dose will become less and less and eventually you will come out of your disease and thyroid gland will start functioning better because I have seen many cases and many patients like this who just changed their lifestyle and okay. thyroid function became better. So, let us see what changes we can do according to Ayurveda if you have thyroid gland imbalance. If you go with Ayurveda management, first and foremost thing is yoga. So, you please make a, make yoga as a part of your life. Try to do yoga anti-stomach when you get up in the morning or if you don't have time in the morning, you please do your yoga in the evening but make sure like it should be empty stomach. So, when I am saying empty stomach that means if you have taken grain food like heavy diet, you need to wait for 4 hours so that your grain diet will go through your stomach and your stomach will become empty four to four and half hours. If you have taken fruits, you need to wait for two and half hours and then you can uh, do yoga. Among yoga, the best practice for thyroid gland that is uh, Ujjayi Pranayam. Uh, there is a very, uh, Ujjayi Pranayam is very easily available online. You can check what is Ujjayi Pranayam. It is very beneficial for the function of thyroid and make sure you learn it from the proper source. So, this Ujjayi Pranayam is very beneficial. In addition to that, Kapal Bhatis, this is very beneficial. Those of you who are Isha meditators, they can do Shakti Chalna Kriya. So, this Kriya is very beneficial in thyroid uh, imbalance. And those of you who do not know Shakti Chalna Kriya, they can also have Kapal Bhatis, uh, which uh, Swami Ramdev teach. These Kapal Bhatis are also very beneficial in the function of thyroid gland. So, this was about yoga and what other things you can do according to Ayurveda that is thyroid gland and its hormones are very much impacted by the iodine that is present in our food. So, first and foremost thing that you can do, you please replace the table salt with sandhav lemon. Sandhav lemon is the pink colored salt. I also have created video regarding that, that is called Himalayan salt. Uh, in some places, it is also known as rock salt. You please go through my channel and search for Himalayan salt, what I am talking about. It is pink colored salt. So, you replace that salt with Himalayan salt. It contains enough amount of iodine and your iodine deficiency will be maintained and maybe if the thyroid dysfunction is because of iodine deficiency, it will become better. So, this is uh, this, this is the first thing that you can do. It is a small lifestyle change, but very easy and everybody can do. Next thing is how you should start your day. Like in the morning, people are asking what to eat, what to eat. As you know, it is a lifestyle disease. So, what you need to do in the morning after shower, after your yoga practices, you please take one big bowl of fruits any seasonal fruit you can take, but more uh, beneficial fruit is pomegranate in this pomegranate because uh, it, it, it is very um, it is very beneficial to enhance your immunity and it also enhances the blood levels in your body and in Ayurveda it has been said like it is the king of fruits if somebody is sick. Uh, so, anar that is called pomegranate, it is very beneficial if any kind of disease is there in the body because it immediately get mixed with rasa dhatu and it helps uh, in recovery of any disease. In addition to that, you can add other immunity enhancer fruits that is amla, that is amelica officialis. 
uh, or Indian gooseberry this is also very beneficial if you if there is a possibility you can have any uh, Indian gooseberry if it is available you or it in market also it is very easily available. So, take 2 3 amlas and you can have it with sandhav lemon it is very beneficial for, for enhancing your immunity and it is very beneficial uh, for for self healing. In addition to that more rasa enhancing fruits are uh, carrot and beetroot. You can have juice of carrot and beetroot in the morning. It is a very detoxy, very beneficial detoxifier drink. You can have two carrots and one beetroot and smash them or make, uh, make a juice out of them. So, in the morning you can have one glass out of it and you can add little bit of pepper and little bit of Himalayan salt in it. It is very good detoxifier and if your thyroid uh, imbalance is because of toxins then it will help you to do, remove toxins from your system and you will feel very energetic and very healthy. So, this uh, one juice that is very beneficial for you, you can include this juice in your diet because it is Kshai Ras Pradhan, Kshai means astringent in nature this beetroot. So, and this amlica officialis it is also astringent in nature. So, if there is some kind of inflammation in your thyroid gland because of some kapha imbalance. So, this astringent thing will remove the kapha from your thyroid gland and anti it has anti inflammatory action and it will help your thyroid gland to heal naturally and maybe your thyroid function will become normal. After this kind of juice you can have salads, you can uh, like all the green salads like lettuce or uh, spinach, any kind of green salad you can have few salads. You can also have salads in afternoon before lunch that is also very beneficial, but if you uh, if morning meal is your the biggest meal and in afternoon you do not have time then you can have salads in the morning. After that you can have any soaked dry fruits like almonds uh, 3 or 4 almonds you can have you can have uh, walnut uh, soaked one. So, these two dry fruits you can have regarding dry fruits also I have created one more video. You can go through the channel and you can watch this video this is very beneficial how to eat them how to soak them how why to soak them how it is so beneficial after soaking. So, these few dry fruits you can have after soaking overnight after that if you want you can also have green gram sprouts uh, just one spoon not more, more than that and after that you can have your cooked meals uh, any grain food you can have and lentils they are very beneficial because these uh, grains and lentils uh, because grains contains a lot of fiber and in this thyroid gland is very important and if you are gaining weight especially because of hypothyroidism it is very beneficial that you have enough amount of fiber in your body so that it will not cause any kind of constipation. So, please try to have grain diet rather than having any packed food this is not good uh, for your health and try to uh, cook it try to cook it by yourself at home and try to consume it within 3 hours of cooking because if you are keeping food and become old then according to Ayurveda it is it does not comes under healthy diet and it will not provide any nutrition to you neither it will heal anything it will just fill the stomach and you will not get anything from this kind of food. So, it is very important you freshly cook it just spare half an hour for cooking and then uh, and then consume it uh, within uh, as soon as possible it is best for you. This is the morning diet that you can take in the afternoons you can have anything grains or whatever you are taking, uh, but before having grains have big bowl of salad or if, or if salad is not possible you can have fruits when I am talking about salads, salads I am more uh, talking about green leafy vegetables like green leafy salads they are more beneficial for health. And uh, after that in the evening keep your dinners light try to have some vegetable soup or chapati and wheat that is whole grain full grain wheat. So, that it contains a lot of fiber and it will help you to remove the toxins from your system and at the same time it will be beneficial that it will not allow to gain weight. So, these are the diet patterns you need to do if you have some irregular periods regard related to thyroid gland or this diet is also recommended in any kind of thyroid imbalance.
this will help you to settle down your thyroid gland and at the same time you please keep visiting your doctor once in two months and take the test for your thyroid gland because after this kind of lifestyle change maybe your thyroid dose will come very less. Uh, as a medicine whatever medicine you are taking keep an eye on your test reports and contact with doctor if your test reports are normal ask them request them to keep your thyroid um, thyroxine dose less or any kind of medicine dose less and you will be very happy to see like how this small change in your life has has given you freedom from your thyroid gland. In addition to that, many people were asking, can they have all the spices? Yes, spices you can have plus uh, because all the spices are very hot in potency and they, and that are very good for your digestion and in hypothyroidism as your metabolism goes slow. So you can use spices, but don't overuse them because once you overuse spices, then uh, it will cause other problems like acidity and all kind of these things. It is very important you use spices but in a balanced way. In addition to that what kind of teas you can have, you can have Tulsi tea, it is very beneficial anti-inflammatory, antiviral and so much, so many properties Tulsi tea has. Tulsi tea you can have, you can have coriander tea, regarding coriander tea I already have created video, you please uh, go through my channel and watch this video how to, how it is beneficial so you can make use of this coriander tea. You can increase the fiber in your diet and when I am talking about fruits, big bowl of fruits, uh, try to have fruits like uh, with fiber like rather than having juice, uh, try to have fruit like full uh, after removing its peel except for the except for the morning juice that I have mentioned like carrot and uh, beetroot juice. The best is if it is you have time you can uh, have two carrots and one this beetroot. Uh, as a whole if you are eating it is more beneficial. It should be ripe beetroot and carrot should also be organic origin so that it will help you to detoxify yourself naturally. So that is all about thyroid diet and I hope you will like this video. If you know anyone who is having this problem, you can recommend this video to them so that they will get benefited and they will be able to come out of this thyroid problem naturally. So that is all for today's videos. Thank you so much for watching and if you are watching me for the first time, there is a bell icon, there is a subscription button. You can click the bell icon, hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also, if you would like to support us, there is a join button near subscription button you can click this join button and you can support us. Also those of you who want Ayurveda consultations please write to me on this email id and I will let you know how we can schedule it. Also if you have any questions please write down those questions in the comment section and I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and with this note I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care. Bye.